There she is. Oh, have they seen this yet? They're waiting for you. Oh. But yet again, here we here we are. We're recognizing a great woman yes, in Chester yes, history. Yes. Um, and what better organization to do that than the organization that is based in the memory of Ruth L. Bennett? Yet another great woman in Chester history. On behalf of myself and the rest of her, the family out there, we thank you. You know what I love? I love seeing her in that uniform. That is such a compliment to duty. You know, now at our crossing guards, I love them and everything like that. But the regalness that being in uniform brought to what she was doing for children and making sure that they were safe from light to, to street to curb. Fantastic. <laughs> I want to welcome everyone I see here today. A lot of fond memories of people who have helped us to keep the living legends of the Lamokin Village present. Yeah! Yeah! I see out here today to celebrate this wonderful woman who crossed me across the street to Booker T. Washington and Frederick Douglass. And we preserved, because some folks didn't like us changing it from Lamokin Village to Chatham. I got you on that. But we still preserve our legacy and history. That's why, that's the header from off of Booker T. Washington School, sitting there in the front of this building that is named after our beloved Booker T. Washington and still keeps us with the memories of our education and that wonderful edifice. But we wouldn't have been making it across the street maybe to Booker T. and Frederick Douglass if it had not been for the comfort and compassionate care that was given to us from our crossing guard and neighbor, because she lived in Lamokin Village, Miss Rosie Sewell. Reading. Reading. I call her your last name, Rosie. That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> Rosie Reading. So I'm not going to take up much of your time because we want to go in and hear some of the wonderful testimonies from family members, friends, and people that loved her concerning what her contribution is and was to their well-being and their life. Thank you so much for continuing to come out. Chester has so many things to celebrate. <laughs> we come in this way. Okay. Oh, this is nice. There she is! Oh! Have they seen this yet? They're waiting for you. Oh! Gotta salute you. Come on. We're this way, people. Oh, okay. Oh, Now, who do you see up on that wall? Oh, wow. That, that is so beautiful. Oh, it is. Nice. I, I, I love all the time. <laughs> Especially when she's posing for a picture. Mine's a big company. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, 
her son and her daughter. Yes. Where is this boy? What is it like to see the final product? Overwhelming, surprising, and pride, joy. What my grandmother stood there was seriousness, but the, with the love, and I'm going to do the best I could for my community because I'm here to oversee these children and make sure they were safe. So this is what this picture means to me. What's it like to see your mom up there? Well, when I first walked in, I think I would have been real sad because it's like she's posing because she knows she made it. Nor my mother, she do know where she does her job. It's well done. Me and my brother used to tell us that all the time. Mom, you're doing good all the time. And she said, I know. I said, if George, my brother George, if George said you're doing good, I'm doing good, you are. And then we looked at a picture again. Not this one. It was, a, it was something like this. Right. And then I said, Mom, what makes me happy now is the students in her class respect her. They knew how to answer Miss Redding. I walked into the class. It was loud at first. They suddenly all quiet down and said, Miss Redding's daughter is here. We gotta be quiet. <laughs>